In this machine learning class, we will see the basic types of data in machine learning that will come under first unit preparing to model chapter. Right here, there are two types of data set. First one is qualitative data and second one is quantitative data. When come to qualitative data, again there are two types. First one is nominal data and second one is ordinal data. When come to quantitative, again there are two types. First one is interval data and second one is ratio data. Okay, let us see all those things one by one in forthcoming slides. First, let us see what is data set. Data set is a collection of related information which are otherwise called as records. That is the collection of records are called as data set. Okay. Sometimes it is called as data table. Data table. Here the information may be on some entity or some subject area. Let us see one example. Let us take this student data set. So, this student data set is the collection of information related to a specific student. Specific student. Okay. Here this data set contains 6 uh, students information. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 records are there in this data set. That is it contains the information about 6 six different students right and the column of the table are called as attributes attributes of the student attribute of students right let us take another example and this data set contains the students performance okay so which contains the record providing the particular student's performance, okay, marks on individual subjects, right. So, this is the uh, roll number of student and he got 89 from max and 45 from science and percentage is this one, okay. So, all the six students mark details are given in student's performance data set. In a data set, each row is called as record. Okay, here we are having six records. Okay, that is six students details. And the table is having a collection of attributes. Right? So, the multiple attributes and these attributes are used to give information about the specific characteristics of record. Right? So, here we are having the roll number, name, gender and age. These are the attributes of this particular data set. Right? And the attributes are otherwise called as features, variables, dimensions or field. Right? Here, the both data sets, the first one is student data set and students performance data set having four features or dimensions. So, both the table we are having four field four fields okay hence they told have four dimensional space that is data space four dimensional data space this is important here each row is having one record that is that is used to represent one student value one student value one record represent one student value if it is two records then we are having two different students value that means the record values are different. The record values are different. And now let us see the different types of data. The data is mainly divided into two types. First one is qualitative data and second one is quantitative data. And these two data are entirely different and let us see those things in detail. The first one is qualitative data. Qualitative data which provides information about quality of an object. Okay, not the quantity of object. So, to represent the quality of uh, a particular object, we have to use quality of data. For example, to identify the quality of performance of the student, we have to use the good average poor. Okay, good means good student, average student, poor student. Okay, so this will come under the category of qualitative data, qualitative data and also the name of student or roll number of student 
we can take these two attributes right so from here we cannot measure anything roll number means this is belongs to a particular student that's it from this we cannot measure anything right so this also will come under qualitative data and the qualitative data is also called as categorical data okay categorical data for example good student average student poor student so these are categories categories of student the student will be divided into different categories so this categorical data are used for classification classification okay when come to categorical data this is again divided into two types first one is nominal data and second one is ordinal data let us see these things one by one first one is nominal data nominal data means there is no numerical value okay the attribute values are named values the attribute values are named values for example blood group blood group means a group b o a b or a b positive a b negative a positive b positive o positive o negative likewise the values the attribute value for example blood group means these are named values not numerical value nationality which nation a particular person belongs to indian american british etc the values are named values gender means male female okay color color means red green blue etc okay so these are nominal data nominal data means there is no numerical values for the attributes in nominal data we cannot perform the mathematical operations or statistical functions mathematical operations means addition subtraction multiplication deletion etc so these are mathematical function that is not possible on nominal data simultaneously the mean variance mode standard deviation like the statistical function is also not possible on nominal data but we can do the basic count that is how many records are there in a data set that is possible hence the mode operation is also possible in nominal data mode means most frequently occurring value okay that can be identified in nominal data the second type of qualitative is ordinal data ordinal data is also the named values but the values are arranged some natural order it may be either increasing order or decreasing order okay the values are arranged in sequence that may be either increasing or decreasing order for example we can uh, see the customer satisfaction the customer may be very happy happy unhappy so they can arrange in this order and grades a b c a is highest grade and c is lowest grade then we can arrange in this order and hardness of metal very hard hard soft okay the hardness of metal may be arranged in this fashion okay that means like this nominal data the basic counting is also possible in ordinal data basic counting how many number of records there that is possible here hence we can perform mode operation and median operation median means the data are arranged in sequence hence we can easily find the median value but still we cannot compute the mean value the second type of data is quantitative data quantitative data means the information about quantity of particular object quantity of particular object hence it is quantity the value are numeric data for example we can take a mark of particular student mark means naturally it may be the number okay so by using a scale we can measure the mark of particular student okay here the quantitative data are again two types first one is interval data and second one is ratio data 
the first type of quantitative data is interval data interval data means a numeric data which is used to identify the order or difference between the values so this is called as interval data for example we can take the celsius temperature the difference between each value remains same remains same okay let us take another example that is even numbers even numbers okay the numbers are 2 4 6 8 okay so the difference between 2 and 4 and difference between 6 and 8 are remain same okay so this is called as interval data right the other example for interval data are date and time etc so by using those interval data we can perform all mathematical operations like addition subtraction deletion are possible and we can do all uh, the statistical functions also the central tendency can be measured by median mean mode etc okay and standard deviation is also possible in the interval data the problems in an uh, interval data are this is not the whole numbers whole numbers means that starts from zero isn't it so the interval data do not have true zero values true zero values for example we can take temperature so there is no zero temperature that means no temperature temperature is always there the value of temperature may be zero but without temperature we cannot measure anything okay no temperature is not at all possible isn't it so only we can do addition subtraction on the interval data and the ratio also not possible that is we cannot apply ratio on the interval data the ratio means for example 40 degree c which is not equal to 20 degree c plus 20 degree c okay 40 degree temperature is different and we cannot say that the 40 degree temperature is twice hot of 20 degree temperature right so these are uh, the things are not possible in the interval data the second type of quantitative data is ratio data it is the numerical data for which exact value can be measured so this is ratio data here the absolute zero is possible right and we can do all mathematical operations like uh, addition subtraction multiplication division as well as the statistical operation like median, mean, mode and the standard deviation also. Okay. For example, the ratio data is height, weight, age, salary, etc. Okay. So, these are all ratio data. And this is the summarized view of different data, different data types. Okay. Based on the attribute of the data, there are two main categories first one is qualitative which is otherwise called as categorical data and second one is quantitative which is otherwise called as numerical data okay so in the categorical data again there are two types first one is nominal data and second one is ordinal data when come to numerical data again there are two types first one is interval data and second one is ratio data okay uh, data attributes that is each data is having its own attribute so based on the category the type of attributes are discrete attribute nominal attribute numeric attribute binary attribute and continuous attributes let us see example for all these things the first one is discrete attribute so this means the finite or infinite number of values okay the value is discrete one okay that is discrete attribute for example 5 6 or uh, uh, 1500 or it may be uh, very big number like this okay so this discrete attribute and second one is nominal attribute nominal attribute means it may be a roll number street number pin code okay so this have a finite number of values only limited number of values limited number of values so this is nominal attribute right and numeric attribute numeric attribute means count rank of student etc so these are countably infinite values 
okay the count may be goes 0 to infinity and rank of the students so how many students are there that much rank will come isn't it so this is numeric attribute and second one is binary attribute so binary attribute has only two values only two values for example uh, male female positive negative yes no etc so these are binary attributes and the next one is continuous attributes continuous attributes means any possible value which may be a real number okay for example uh, 0 to 1 means in between there are infinite number of values are there okay for example length height weight price are all called as continuous attributes so the continuous attributes values are in real number so far we have seen the basic types of data in machine learning from first unit preparing to model under this we have seen the data set and two types of data qualitative and quantitative after that we have seen the different data attributes also in the next class we will see another important topic from first unit and if you not yet subscribed please subscribe this channel and for frequent updation please click the bell button thank you